Sometimes we select a shape, for example, rectangle or polygon, rotate it or scale it in some degrees. But how does it work behind the scene? Actually, linear transformations and scaling are being used for these kind of actions. Let's say we have a point in 2D plane like this. If we move the point to another position, we can represent this action by using these mathematical representations. Namely, we can achieve it rotating by an angle of theta. Thus, we can calculate the x and the y coordinates of the point after the point movement. This is the pre-rotation and this is the post-rotation points. So, we call it linear transformations, namely rotations about the origin by an angle of theta. This is the point rotated here by an angle of theta. Now, let's see the scaling. We have a point x0, y0. Now, we have a scaling factor k and we have a l scaling factor l. So, this amount gives the final x and this multiplication amount is given the final y. So, scaling with k and the L factors. This is the scale. Now, let's start coding. Import some necessary stuff. Then, scaling function with some argument x0, y0 and the factors, scaling factors. Original x0, y0 and the scaling factor, namely room, zoom rate. Scaling x coordinate and this is the scaling of y coordinate. Now finally return the x and the y, the scaling factors. Rotation, rotation x and y with some points, for example x0, y0 and the original to be original points to be rotated and the DEG the rotation angle in degrees. So we need to convert it to root gradient, degree to radian conversion. Then we calculate the basis on the X0, Y0 and the rotation angle, we calculate the coordinates X and Y. This is the rotated x angle of degree. This is the rotation of the coordinate y by an angle of dg. Okay. Then finally, return the rotated x and y. Now, let's implement the functions above to a rectangle. We have given points to the rectangle, namely coordinates of the rectangle. We have here five points because the cursor will be returned to the starting point again after joining the rectangle. This is the x coordinates of the rectangle. This is the y coordinates of the rectangle. Then this is the number of points. Now, set some environmental parameters like clear screen and the speed of drawing and the pen size. Then uh, let's use some colors during the drawing. Color, orange, green, blue, red, and the purple. Okay. Now we are going to draw, let's call the function and the scale down the rotate the rectangle, given rectangle above, uh, for example, for 24, 25 times. Uh, this is the 25 times, and the first we uh, set the color, and uh, uh, because uh, we have color above, and then we fill the color because we fill the rectangle with some color and then with the with and for loop we are going to draw the sides of the rectangle 
First, uh, we uh, scale the coordinates with a factor of 0 0.95 each time scaled down at the rate of namely uh, 0 0.5 0 0.95 then uh, we rotate it with an angle of 30 degrees each time each time we rotate it 30 degrees okay now if the if it's start on point and we pan up and we go to the next point then if it's not zero at that time we pan down and we draw the size actual size of the rectangle now finally we fill the rectangle with color same color okay now we done it okay now let's uh, check the code again before run it okay an angle cosine above functions above then rectangle this is spelling rectangle now the code looks good now let's run the code and see the result okay run it okay it's working it's working great try again okay now finally uh, let's show the code let's show the code it works great this is the scaling function this is the rotation function and finally this is the whole code thank you for your watching please subscribe